all around us in the grass and in the hedgerows, there is a lot of silent communication going on between insects and the plants. So the insects need to find the plant to lay their eggs on, for example, or, or to eat. And the plants want to avoid that, obviously. So the insects use the, the smell of the plant to, uh, to find them. But the plants can then, in return, if they're attacked, change the way they smell in order to avoid being detected or to call in help from predators that feed on those insects that are attacking them. It's fascinating how plants and insects communicate and on a fundamental level this is, this is very interesting scientifically but we can also use this knowledge to help us protect our crop plants from insect pests that feed on them and reduce the yield and quality of our, uh, of our crops and, and the food that comes from them. There are two main ways that the crops and plants in general can defend themselves against insects. One is what we call a pre-alighting defense, where the way that the plant looks or smells avoids them being detected by insects. And the other one is what we call post-alighting, so it's after the insect lands. And the plant then can defend itself either by the insect not being able to feed on it because the surface is too hard, or by using plant chemistry that's uh, toxic to the insect. At the moment, the way that we identify defense traits in plants is uh, manual labor. So we go out and we count aphids, we count beetles, and that's very, very time consuming. Whereas we are starting to use imaging technology uh, to identify insects in the field, and we can then screen or look at many, many more plant varieties at a time. And once we've identified the plants that seem to have resistance to insects, then what we can do is we can go into more fundamental science and look at the plant chemistry and the plant genetics to understand what it is about that plant that is making it resistant. And once we have that information, then we can take those traits and breed them into the modern varieties, the crop varieties that our farmers use in their fields. And that will help safeguard the yield potential of that plant, make sure that that plant is not attacked by insects. So by delivering resistance in the seed for farmers, they will not need to, to spray pesticides or it's much less likely that they will. And it will be a much more sustainable way of protecting our crops. We need to be keeping a very close eye on how things change with climate change, for example, because in my field, crop protection, insect pests usually do better when it is warmer. So that is going to put more pressure on our crops. And we have a number of different technologies like GM and gene editing that will speed up putting defense traits into our crop varieties, modern crop varieties. And we need to be using all of those tools to help us help the farmers and make sure that the farmers can grow enough crop for the, the world population. And I would really like to see society embrace the new technologies in a similar way to the way that we embrace mobile phones, for example.